look what I got. A drive line. So, I got the buggy in the shop. Justin's working on his front drive line. Hello. I'm gonna put this thing in tonight. Drive it down the car wash and wash it. Yeah, windshield. So dusty. It's, it is really bad outside. The wind is crazy right now. So, I'm gonna put front drive, or a rear drive line. Rear drive line in. And I gotta do a brake line. Right here. See that? So I will replace this front one. It's leaking right here. You see it kind of pinched? I got one right here. It's a little bit longer than what I need, but whatever. That one will work. So yeah, stay tuned. Don't go nowhere yet. I got this cool needle bag with a worn controller. But we'll see how this works. You just have to connect it with your phone. Eating walker. I got some cool stuff in here. Anyway. Anyway, I gotta hook this up, download an app on my phone, and see if I can get it to work so I can get rid of this. See this wire? It goes all the way around, across the hood, into the winch. If not, I might just run some wires from there to the dash. And go. But we'll see how it goes. Stay tuned. So, update. Got drive line back in. I want to give a huge shout out to RB 4x4, uh, Mike Nappy. Them, his guys and him they're the ones that built that drive line for me they put a new tube on it and uh yeah if you guys need any off-road parts in moab that's the place to go rmb 4x4 they know what they're doing plus we sold them all our all uh rory sold them all of the inventory he had here so yeah look at that whale very nice looking. I haven't been in here since I geared it. I'm curious on how it's gonna look. There it goes. Now it's coming off. Everybody laughed at me for putting this this chrome on there. Look how much how many times it saved me. Especially there. Bam. Bam. Look who's laughing now, sucker fish. Just kidding. But anyway, that was a big help. Or I'd have to do a banana plate like how, banana peel like how Mike did his. Then the rear, it's solid. I ain't gonna get damaged. Got the brake line on there also. So. It's a lot bigger than I needed to be, but maybe I'll, I don't know. It's super long, because I'm just going that little short throw right there. I don't have it on the frame like a, like a traditional, I don't know, what, Jeep, truck, car, anything that comes off of the frame and then to the caliper. I don't have that. I ran it down the link and then here and wide it off over there on that side. Put a Y in it. One this way, one that way, and one that came in. So this is a bit overkill. Maybe I'll swap it out one day when I get a little bit more money and put the little short ones in there. And maybe that's why it pinched. Maybe this just got in a bind and beep, maybe the tire got in it. I don't know. But anyway, just want to do a little update. I'm gonna pull that diff cover off and drag the welder over here, weld it up. The guy 
sent the, oh, I can't remember his name, spool. And I want to put this in, but not just yet. I want to put, I want to spend the money and buy some chromoly shafts. So I still have the spool. I haven't put it in. I need Yukon hubs, the hardcore hubs, spline, uh, chromoly shafts, inner and outers. So I know everything will be good. I gotta do that. And a 1350 front U joint because I only got a 1310. Meaning they're smaller. The 1350 is bigger. The 1310s are smaller. But I wanna do all of that before the same time I'm doing that because I gotta tear apart the whole front axle. And while I have all the whole front axle apart, I might as well do the locker. So I'm waiting. I still got it. I'm gonna use it. So what happens is this tire spins one full revolution before that one catches the way I have it welded in there. And that's my problem. When I'm climbing an obstacle, one tire spins and it throws me off the obstacle. That's why I'm gonna fully weld it. It's diff it's just gonna be a spool is all it's gonna be now, so. I thought it would help with the steering and stuff, but I got full hydro and it really doesn't matter. So, and I'll have hubs so I can lock them out going down the road and stuff. And yeah, it'd be fine. But anyway, yeah, I'll pull this diff cover off, weld it up and continue on. See that? That's what's throwing me off my obstacles when I'm Climbing obstacles and stuff. Tire one tire spins one full revolution before. That's all it takes. So I'm gonna fully weld that, make it solid, solid. Well, you can see my old welds right there. You see those welds in there? I will just fully weld it so there's no play in it at all. So yeah, here we go. So, that's what I was talking about. <laughs> Fully welded. Now I can't spin the shaft. Solid. So, a lot of people would weld like right here on both sides. And because it'll be solid. So. I don't need to do that. It should be good like that. Should be, in theory. My, uh, my gear, my transmission and transfer case don't go low enough in the gear to make those go patang patang. And I don't hot rod this thing. I don't go fast in it. So I don't need to do that. Usually if I don't make it, I winch. So that's it. I'm gonna clean this up and put the diff cover back on glue it back on and i'm done for the night so justin is doing the same thing over there he is same exact putting a locker project. in his also that's right this is called a lincoln locker let me show you why lincoln locker lincoln locker get it <laughs> He's got his all cleaned up. He's gonna start welding on that one also. So. Here, show the people this, Sean. Look at this, people. This is what we got going in here now. See this? Twin stick. So, now that I have this, it makes sense to weld the front. Front digs. Yeah, exactly. We didn't record any of that. We were late, we're tired. Justin's a, a night owl. He's up all night doing yeah. stuff like this after hours. It's true. So, but now he's got twin stick, locker, steering, hydro assist, and fuel hydro, injection. Uh, yeah, fuel injection, hydro boost, crossover steering. Like this thing is done. This thing's pretty sweet. Yeah. After this, really, it's going to be time to start cutting body start and building chopping a everything. cage. Chopping it all up. 
I gotta chop it up and start doing two work to it. Yeah. Cause yeah, like running gear wise, it's done. Done, 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 done. Big block. Big block. Now he needs 42s. Yeah. Can't lose with 42s. That's right. Oh, he's doing the banana peel like how Rory and Mike do theirs. How's that look? Yeah. That'll Boom. do it. Oh yeah. So that'll make it strong. Perfect. I've already hit it here once and I got off lucky. Yeah. If I hit it harder, I would have poked a hole in it. Poked a hole or hit yeah. my ring gear or something. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway. so, yeah. Hi. Hi. Um. Uh, so what is today? Sunday. Sunday. Super Sunday. 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 <laughs> yeah. So we have some special guests. Uh, the folks from Code Four are here. Code Four. Hi. And Hello. they make lights, and they are awesome lights, and everybody needs lights, especially if they're Code Four lights. Get lit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get lit. Get yeah, lit. You can get lit. <laughs> you can get lit. But anyways, we're going out on Hell's Revenge. We're gonna go drive around, and it's gonna be awesome. Yeah, and the weather's fine. It and the weather's perfect. nice. It's awesome. And we also have extra special guests. Rory Irish hiding over there in the shade. <laughs> <laughs> the weather's not nice, but it's better than it was yesterday. Dude. Absolutely. Yesterday it snowed, and it was weird. It was weird. And then, oh yeah, Justin and his dad are gonna be here too. They're coming through the gate right now. They are. They're right there. You can't see them, but they're right there. <laughs> so, uh, here Just we go. <laughs> okay, bye. Bye. Mike made them go around. They're like, you won't want none of this. But look at this. Oh.
Uh, something made a very large noise. Yeah, we heard it. And I was like, boy, that sounds like a bad noise. So I figure I better look around before something awful happens. It might be something that front differential. <laughs> Oh, we'll drive and find out what it was. Robin's racing. Robin's racing. And you're last. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're not first. <laughs> These guys are driving down Hell's Gate. My truck's not the only one making noises today. It'll be fine! 
So what can we see here, Sean? What are we river, looking at? The river road. Look, there's the river, Colorado okay. River. Yeah. Just the overlook of hills. I've been out here twice. What? In my buggy. That's it? I never make it out this far. I always just go down the escalator and then go back up and then go back out. I never come out. What a woozer. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> No, never. <laughs> World, class view. World class view. Yeah. Rarely seen. Never. I got one picture out here with my buggy. Anyway, tell the people what you did. Oh, I broke. I broke. I was driving around in front wheel and uh, I forgot. I thought I was in four wheel. And then anyways, I went up on this thing and the tires like spun a little bit and then it come down and said kapow. And now it's broken. Yeah. So, sad story, I'm a two-wheel driver for the rest of the day, and probably a couple more days after that. Should be pretty easy though, it's not that hard. Yeah. There's a lot of bypasses on all this. Dude, look at your lights. Uh-oh, they're sad. Yeah, we should, <laughs> if only we knew some people that have lights. <laughs> oh, these guys. <laughs> yeah, stop looking weird. All right, check it out. Here's the view from the edge. Hi. It's pretty cool. and dry today it looks promising yeah yeah today's a good day today's the day maybe god that's deep it's it's so big
to jump in there? Heck yeah. All right. What's the line? That's right. <laughs> I agree. All right, here comes Justin. He's going to give her a go. What'd you do? <laughs> Bad omen. <Yeah>. Carbureted. No. <laughs> yeah, now even the truck wants to do it. The truck's like, I don't want to. Like, this shit is messed up. Okay. No! Wait, why did you have your lights on? Uh, I was trail leader today, so I had to turn on my yellow light. Yeah, check it out. Yeah, yeah. Look at these cool lights. <laughs> somebody that'll take you through Mickey's hot tub. Definitely. Portal tours. Yeah, check them out. They're good guys. Thank you.